Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day 12 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. I have to admit, I have been watching people's, if you use the hashtag, hashtag Jelly Postcard Play, the, the hash, use the hashtag in the description box and or post it, uh, use that hashtag on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, on all of the different places, and you're going to find that it shows up. Uh, there are hundreds of people doing this particular challenge, and I think I need to up my game because, boy, I, I'm amazed at some of the things that people are coming up with. They are incredible. So we're doing a blind pick again today. Shall we see? Ooh! Wow, this is one of the ones that I liked. This is a, a brayer off sheet again. Um, but I also want once I stamped on things, I would stamp on the brayer off sheet. So there's a little bit of everything on this one. I have my 12s, and of course I might choose this is one that I have. I might choose something there. Or oh, I kind of like that piece. That looks nice in there. I like that color in there. What else do I have? These are some water. These are, are some stamps that I did and then watercolored. Okay. I don't want any of the purple ones. Not today. Not today. Okay, we're going to put all those back in there just to get them out because if I don't, I'll, I'll get them everywhere. They'll, they'll be. I kind of like that, and I kind of like this one. So we're going to hang on to these. I need to do something with this side, because that side is not um, covered up enough. Let me put my Stampin' up, Stampin Off page down here, because I think what I'm going to do is just get out my booklet here. I did this swatch book a while back. Rusty Hinge. Let's go with Rusty Hinge. Let me find it here. Oh, and it's not too far down. Excellent. There's Rusty Hinge. It's already falling apart here. And let me get my Rusty Hinge. That's bright. My bright orange. And I'm going to do a little bit of this. That's way darker than I was thinking it was going to be. But that's all right. We're going to come right down here. And we're going to kind of fill in that white spot. Get rid of some of that white. Okay, let's do the same over here. Let me not go quite so deeply dark. And then let's just throw a little orange around it. We'll just clean off that a little bit with some orange. And it's an orange thing that I got behind it, so you can't even see my, where I stamped on it hardly at all. All right, that kind of brings it down just a little bit, so it's not, there isn't so much white stuck on it. There's a little bit of purple over here. Maybe find my, one of my purples. I have my Distress Ink Villainous Potion. That's the wrong color purple. Hang on. I'll get my other purple. Get my regular purple. And... Hang on. My circles. These are the circles that I was using before. Oh, now I've got my top stuck inside my top. And let's just do a little bit of mark making. Is that going to work? Yep. Yeah. Put a couple purple, couple circles. Around. This is almost like a circus one. I should be doing that on my Stampin' Off page. There we go. So there's some in the purple. Let me do a couple little ones. I like them when they overlap. Five. I try to do odd numbers. Okay. 
Now what other color do I need in there? I've got a lot of yellow, got a lot of orange, got some red, got a little bit of that purple in there now. I don't want to overload the colors. But I think I need a little bit of green. I'll find the right green I want. That's speckled egg. That's too... That's not enough. Scorched timber, I think. Is it scorched timber? Is that the one I want? I know. I should just... I've got... Come on. They're all up like this. Nope, scorched timber is not the one I want. Pine needles. There we go. That's the one I want. I knew it had something to do with wood. It had something to do with wood. This is from a... Um, what do you call this? It's a scotch tape. I think we'll only put three on there. Odd numbers. I like to use odd numbers. Okay, so I think my background may be just about done. Let's use just a little bit of that rusty hinge. I got a spot up there that needs something. That didn't come out hardly at all. You can't hardly see it. That's all right. Fading into the background. You know what I want to do? Hang on. Not big. I'm just going to do a little one. I just want little little corners. There. I do like the look of the rounded corner. It just seems to give it a little bit more finish. Let's go ahead and at least get the 12 on there because then we will have at least done something to it besides play around with the background. Come on. Now I can't get it off my thing. There it goes. There. So I have my 12. Okay, I have to, I can't be done. Can I? Just do this all with stamping? Okay, I do want to do a flower, but I think I know how to, maybe, maybe, hang on. I'm going to pause my video and just check for something. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Forget the flowers. I don't care if, it's, if I had, that was my original theme, original thought. I am changing my mind. So this is from, uh, this is a close to my heart, D1530. This is uh, the whole set is what it looks like. I got it at a craft supply store, uh, not a, no, at a craft uh, thrift store. And I've decided to go ahead and go with it. And I'm going to go with black. Let me grab my black out here. And actually, I want... Where's my other black? There it is. I want archival ink. I want the heavy-duty stuff. Because this is a heavy-duty black. This is very sticky. The stamp itself is sticky. But I've decided to go with the circus theme. So we're going with circus circles. Well, that didn't work so well, did it? Let's bring you over here. Put you up here. But that's okay. I'm, I'm going to be okay with that because, you know, maybe that's where my flower goes. That's where this guy goes. Yeah, we'll put you another layer. It's just layer after layer after layer after layer. After layer. Yeah, the center of this stamp is not stamping well. I don't know what's going on with it. Like I said, I, I just got these. I'm going to just kind of rub it here. And see what comes off of it. They were on sale at a thrift store. So, okay. We're going to put you down with my glue stick. And I've managed to make an absolute mess of myself today. I'll put you here. 
So I guess we are doing flowers. Circusy flowers. Clown flowers. So we'll call it, we'll call them clown flowers. You know, when you, maybe, sh maybe I should show a jet of water coming out of them. Okay, and then you need some coloring as well. Because you're going to actually get cut off. Because I'm going to put you down here, but then we're cutting you off. I'm going to put a little bit more orange in the middle there. A little bit more orange in the middle. This is an orangey kind of day, which, you know, I have to say, my mom, and when she was in Girl Scouts, was nicknamed Mrs. Orange because she wore a sweater, that bright orange sweater, and the girls could always find her, that's for sure. She was one of the assistant Girl Scout leaders, Mrs. Orange. So maybe that's what we'll call this one, Mrs. Orange. Okay, I'm going to cut that part off. We'll save that flower for something some other time. And there we go. Postcard number 12. All right, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you like them. Be sure you're using the hashtag jelly postcard play, uh, hashtag jelly postcard play to go and see what everybody else is doing. Oh my glory, they're absolutely incredible. All right, till later, this is Cindy signing off.